Good evening and welcome to Mum, McLoon and Maui. And uh, welcome to uh, another Monday night conference. Today we're up to seminar uh, number 16. The date is June the 13th, 2011. Let's get going. I think um, uh, the roots of that he got um, from back from those men of 1914, from what I've been able to see, like he, he makes a, a big deal in the early days of talking about how Elliot and Pound uh, sent their readers scurrying off in all directions to, to, you know, to learn a whole new language or to follow up all some ancient mythology or everything like this. So there's that strategy of really making the um, reader work, and so that engaging um, with this uh, brute minimalism uh, promotes a, a certain effects in the reader. Yeah, it's they wanted people to start reading. <laughs> and they suggested certain books they read so they'd quote from it or make metaphors out of it so you'd have to go read a particular author to find out um, like the Golden Bough big resource for Elliot they'd, you'd have to go read it and that was their way of propping up literacy stimulate you into thinking there was something worth learning <laughs> if you went and read this stuff so yeah you're right Andrew he was trying to get people to I mean totally oriented to the wiki the wiki is here for uh, is the uh, speed up of that. So how do you get people who got? If it's lazy to get your information immediately, you don't have any work or time spent. If you have some kind of value in taking time to think and learn and to explore and, and find, how do you counter the wiki? <laughs> how do you counter instant? The Elliot's poetry doesn't work anymore, Andrew. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Maybe fitting his weight uh, doesn't work. Okay, I'll give you a little personal xenocracy. In 1977-78, I walked around Toronto with Ian Arlett a lot, who was Ian Arlett, who was a poet. And I remember in 77, we were walking down the street, and uh, we were just yelling out, Goldfish Bowl! Goldfish Bowl! We were talking McLuhan stuff, and we were talking about the global village becomes a global theater and global transparency. And so we're yelling out, Goldfish Bowl! Definitely remember that. And here's Bruce and McLuhan coming up with the age of the aquarium. The 21st century will be the age of the aquarium. That means... Play on the uh, age of Aquarius, which, yes. which the fish is a symbol. Right, right. And But it's aquarium. It's a, it's a goldfish bowl. It's, it's transparency. The container is transparent. That's uh, the exact same idea that we meant by goldfish bowl. Oh, in 1968, he has a, an appendix sort of to Warm Peace and Global Village where he says, a message to the, frit, to the fish fresh out of the water. Now, the fish became fresh out of the water because of the satellite. Once you're floating around the planet, you're outside of the terrestrial, the old terrestrial nature. So there's that floating around, but he says, it's a message to the fish fresh out of the water. Uh, so the fish now, by 19, 10 years later, 1978, when uh, it's a cliche for people with cable TV and that to be viewing the global theater, then now it's a, a solid position where you're the fish outside the aquarium, looking at it. And you would still be inside it too, but it's a, the aquarium is a, a more solid phase after the fish is fresh out of the water. Now we come to this issue of uh, espionage becomes an art form. So what does uh, Marshall mean by art form? You know, Scott. This is a hard concept for me because espionage is still it's a dangerous business and therefore it's protected with secrets and covers. And, and Not much play, you would say. Yeah. And, uh, okay, so that's all I wanted you to say because the art form is an important word, how, how McClune used it, used it, and one definition that I don't think many people have noticed, it was just said once or twice here and there, if you take the idea McLuhan said in the 60s that we now program the environment, we program the global theater, programming the environment, that might sound to certain literate minds as fascist, as totalitarian, and a rigged game like the uh, game show, $64,000 question, which happened in the late 50s. So you have this programming environment. Once Marshall, at one point, Marshall defined art as, or art form, as programming the environment, anticip anticipating the consequences. But that would only, that would only be true in the minds of the centrist managers. Right, right.